Hello guys, today doing the top 10, 100 greatest films of all time. You know, some of these I won't really have that many explanations for it, because I haven't really seen them in like months, because I don't have good memory, but yep, we'll be going over the top 100 greatest films. So it's the first movie, and this is not, oh yeah, not, well I can start yet. Okay, so for the first, this is all my opinion, okay, if there's a movie that you don't like on the list, I'm going to tell you, this is my opinion. Or we could call it if a movie is too high on the list or too low on the list. It is my opinion. Okay, and my opinion is subject to change over time. Okay, for example, I very recently made a massive change to this list to many movies. Okay, and second of all, I have not seen every movie on the face of the planet like what other people have. You know, more people, you know, you have these like 30 to 40 year olds making like the top 100 greatest movies of all time. Again, they have seen so many movies, they have seen so many films, you know. They have a better understanding of film and movie than I do, you know? So, number 100 is Hot Styles. So, Hot Styles is basically about, like, the, you know, about, you know, it's basically very similar to Dances with Wolves, where we had, had to escort this, but instead they had to escort this guy to their own, own land, so he can, you know, homeland, basically, the tribal land, basically, he had to go back to his homeland. It's a pretty good movie. You have a lot of act, good action sequences in the movie. The movie isn't really the most... Liked movie, but if you really like some, if you really like historical movies, you'll like this movie. Number nine, the nine is Toy Story. Toy Story, of course, is the absolute classic movie. I don't really have to explain it much further. So my least favorite Toy Story is actually Toy Story Four. I actually have not seen Toy Story Four, but does he base it on trailers and based off reaction? Yeah, it's not. It's not really anyone's favorite either. But yeah, it's just, it's a, it's basically a classic. It's also the movie that also. Put 3D animated movies to where they are now. It's actually the first truly pop. It was the first truly successful full feature film length 3D animated movie. People don't know that, but if it, it if it wasn't for Toy Story, we wouldn't have a lot of great movies. You know, such as I, such as uh, you know Ice Age, Shrek. I have not seen Shrek in such a long time. I can't. I couldn't put it on the list. But yep, next is Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry is another classic movie. It's a classic cop movie, basically. By, by by Clint Eastwood, and it's a pretty old movie. Came out in 1971. I bought the entire collection. All of them are pretty great movies here, and yeah, these are all very great. All five of them are very great movies. They're all basically just classics. Same thing with Predator, another classic movie on this list. Predator, of course, you know the classic Predator movie. It's a classic, of course, is going to be on this list. I think this movie this if. I think by the end of next year, this movie won't be on this list anymore. Next is Lost in Translation, which is a movie that came out a long time ago. I've seen it, like, once, like, a year ago. It's a very amazing film. The CG, the, not CG, yeah. Cinematography is pretty great in this movie. There's film, basically, here. It's basically about a movie style and another, and, uh, these two movie styles meet in Tokyo. And, basically, they are doing stuff in Japan. They don't understand how, in Japan... You know how to speak Japanese, but they meet each other in Japan. It's a pretty good movie and film to watch. And yeah, that's basically about watching translation. Next is Finding Doi. It is the amazing sequel to Finding Nemo. That's great. It's never, it's never not nowhere near as well as the first one, but it has a lot of heartfelt and emotional scenes in the movie. Next is Spider Man 2. I think this movie is very overrated, but it's still on this list. You have like the, you have lots of very great moments in the movie. You also have a pretty great villain in Dr. Octopus. I like him in the movie. You know, it's not my favorite Spider-Man movie. So, which isn't a soccer. Since I made, since this movie, since I say, uh, I, like, and a lot of videos that this movie is incredibly overrated, but it still has a pretty good plot, pretty good story, CGI, and everything. Jumanji, another absolute classic. Jumanji is an absolute classic. Not as great as its sequel, as its sequels, but it's still very funny. It's still very original, you know. You know, so it wasn't really based off everything. And of course, with Robin Williams, he was a pretty great actor. And Jumanji, you know, he was pretty great in the movie. And yeah, Robin Williams, you know, hope in the other world he's doing well. And the other world, the other side, basically, you know, there. So next is Hell High Water, another very amazing film. I own this movie on Blu ray. It's basically about these guys. I think it's, I, I haven't seen this movie in like two years. But it's about like these guys in like Texas. The accent is pretty great. A lot. It had pretty good reviews. I. It's basically, yeah. It's in Texas, Texas. 
And it's a pretty good western movie. A pretty underrated movie. It didn't really do too well at the box office. You know. And yeah. If you really like. You know. Historical western movies. This is a pretty good movie. For you. Next is Tenant. So Tenant is a very confusing movie to watch. But yep. I, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. So yeah. Tenant is a very confusing. But it's a very great movie. Once you understand the movie. You'll say yeah yeah. This is a very great movie. Problem is. This movie is very hard to understand. Which is why this movie is not that. As higher as other Dolan movies. But it is, but again, it is made by him. It's still pretty great. The CGI, the characters, and everything is so is super great. You know, it's basically they're trying to stop World War Three and all that stuff. You know, Dale. Next is Batman Begins. A great start to the Batman trilogy. You know, I like this movie. It's not as great as the other two Batman movie, Dark Knight movies, but it's still an amazing start to the amazing trilogy. See, the acting, the characters, and everything is pretty much great. Next is the most re- one of the more recent inclusions, and that is Kubo and the Two Strings. This bo- this movie was pretty amazing. Uh, I actually put a review that's going to come out in three months because I want to put some videos out when the vacation's going. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk much about the movie because because of course that will be saved for the review. But I will summarize the movie. So basically, it's like a it's a stop motion animated movie. The storyline is pretty great. The characters are pretty amazing. I, 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 you know, I didn't, I don't understand why some movies flop at the box office, even though they're good or, you know, they're good. This is one of those movies that flopped. You know, they when a movie usually releases in August or January, and it's not really known, it's not, it's gonna flop. Okay. There, it also is competing with the overrated life of pets. I don't hate it because you know the reason why Pixar fanboys hate, it, but it's. Not pets is not that great. Next is Godzilla. If you love the fur, if you love Godzilla, you're gonna love this movie. It's not as great as the new Godzilla movie, V King of the Monsters. I've not seen Godzilla vs Kong, Kong yet, but I'm a big fan of Godzilla, so of course it's gonna be on this list. This movie is ba- if you really like the first Godzilla, like the first Godzilla movie, you're gonna like this movie. But if you like more action scenes and more Godzilla just being up things that isn't really. You know, it's pre- the problem with this movie, the reason why it's not high is because it is pretty slow. Next is Guys of the Galaxy 2. It's not as great as the first one, but it's still pretty amazing. It is another classic movie and film. You know, we have a lot, you know, the story is not as great as the first one, but it is not going to be the last Marvel movie on the list. list. Next is Jurassic World. So Jurassic World, of course, I really love the Jurassic Park movies. I even, the only one I don't really like is the fifth one. And I probably if I watch it again, I'll probably like it more. But Jurassic World was pretty great. I watched it like eight or nine times. Like not as much as Jurassic Park one through two, but Jurassic Park two and three are not on this list. I really, I like all of them, but the fifth one, you know, put it, it had I, I just dinosaurs, you know. But this one has a better story than two, three, or five. So and also it does. This was just the return of Jurassic Park. It was so amazing. You had the you had these new characters that were pretty good. You know, some people really hate this movie, but I really liked it. Next is Memento, another classic Nolan movie. Memento is basically about a guy who loses his memory, you know, and stuff. He can't remember things and stuff. It's pretty amazing. I'm not gonna spoil any of the twists or turns of this movie. The next, I, I keep saying movie, but this is greatest films with so. Next is the Star Wars Born. I, I didn't really expect anything of this movie. I didn't really care for it until like one uh, until it was like nine for hours. I was like, you know what? I gotta go see this. I so I recorded it off of HBO. It, I seen it once. I know, you know, I seen it once. Once I have it on Blu ray, I might check it again. But it's a pretty amazing movie. The acting and performances are pretty great in this movie. In this film, basically. Next is John Wick, of course you have to have John Wick. On the list, John Wick is just amazing. You know, all of John Wick, all the John Wick movies are just amazing movies and films. You know, it's a pretty amazing storyline, you know, pretty amazing character. John Wick is just another classic action movie. Next is another classic movie, and that's Speed. So now we get now these are basically that's like masterpieces. Basically, here I forgot to give like a wealth change, like a wealth score. Score. I'll do it. I'll do it after this video, but Speed, of course, is another amazing Keanu Reeves movie. Basically, yeah, it is a rip off of Die Hard, but it's an amazing movie. It's an amazing, ah, it's an amazing movie, amazing film. 
You know, die. You know, Die Hard was pretty great, but this movie was pretty great as well. You know, Keanu Reeves was pretty great in this movie. A lot of people hate, do not like Keanu Reeves online, but I do. He's a pretty amazing actor in almost all of his movies, except for like one or two movies. But every actor has bad movies. Next is Wreck It Roll for another classic movie. It's basically like you know, it's it's basically like if you really love. Kind of like pictures if you really love old classic video games, old classic arcade games. Well, Disney did do it before Pixels. So, and a lot of you hate Pixels. It's pretty overhated. I think Pixels is pretty overhated. It actually used to be on this list, but I removed it from the list because a lot, because I've seen a lot more films in my first edition of the list. List. So yeah, Wreck It Ralph was another pretty classic movie. So Free Billboards also have Ebbing, Missouri. It's basically a a film about this girl. She basically loses her... I, I haven't seen it in like two years. Like, it's either her son or her daughter. And she has to... She, ha, she wants to find out who did it. You know. And no, but the police won't help her. The police won't do anything. You know, nobody does anything. So basically, basically just puts up these billboards to get the police to... Or do something. Oh yeah, it's her daughter. To stop basically when the police... Fail to catch the culprit, and he basically does everything he can to get. Next is the Winter Soldier, another classic Marvel movie. It is basically like one well, I have seen this. It's not my fa- It's not my go-to Marvel movie, but it is a pretty amazing movie film. It has a lot of good action scenes. A lot. It has a pretty good story. You know, basically, you know, Captain America is trying to start. Try has to fight his. Long lost friend who he thought was dead, you know here, here, who he thought was dead. Basically, he thought it was basically he thought yeah he thought his best friend was dead. So he basically, you know he and then once he realized that he's been, his best friend's like being brainwashed, he had to stop him and he had to basically turn him over to the good side and stuff. And if this movie basically leads into civil war. And Civil War is on this list as well. So next movie or film is Toy Story 3. 3. This is a basically another classic. It's not. It's it's my favorite out of the three movies. Because basically, you know, it's a, it has one of the most emotional scenes in any Pixar movie ever. So yeah, it's more emotional than the second or first one. I find the second one a bit overrated. I, I've seen the second one, I believe, the least amount of times out of the three movies. Except for fourth one, I forgot the fourth one exists. But we don't we don't talk about Toy Story if we don't mention it. Four Ragnarok, of course, it's amazing. You have a lot of good CGI cinematography shots. You have a pretty epic soundtrack. You have all these good action scenes. You have a lot of good humor. It is basically one of those movies that is just very rewatchable. Basically, it's I think it's my it's my it's obviously my f- favorite four movie, but the first and second movie four movies were not that great. So basically. It's the best of the four movies. Aliens, of course, we have to have Aliens on this list. I don't like it as much as the first one, but ha- but if you really like Axon and Aliens, this is a very amazing one. This is a very amazing classic. You know, here is basically you know like the first one, first one, but the, it's, instead it has it has all of the you know great you know action scenes. You have all these great action scenes. You have all these. You have these great characters in the movie. You have a relationship between Ridley, Rip, oh not Ridley, not, that, that, that's the character from Magic. Ripley and Newt, very amazing. Next is Spider-Man: Homecoming. Yes, the but the uh, Tobey Maguire. You know, fans are gonna be angry. I actually don't remember to do it. Sam Raimi, Sam Raimi fans, you can complain all you want. That's on the list, but it's on the list. Higher than Spider-Man Two, okay. And this is what I mean. Don't get mad at what, what placement the movies are on. Because we all know Sound Me fans will be the first people who are going to be mad besides Up fans. You know, I don't really care for Up. I'm sorry. But yep, Spider-Man Homecoming. It's pretty amazing. I've seen it. I have not seen it as much as its sequel, Spider-Man Far From Home. I've seen it like twice. Yeah, they have a pretty amazing villain, Vulture. He basically is like probably one of the more relatable and better MCU villains out there. You also have basically, you know, Spider Man warns how to use it without its powers. I think that's much more bad than mm-hmm. Spider Man just randomly losing his powers in Spider Man Two because they want to show like something. There, I think they did much better in this movie here. You know? But yep, there we go. Next is Deadpool Two, of course. Deadpool Two, not as great as the first one, but it's 
it's freaking Deadpool, okay? And the humor is pretty funny, pretty great. The story, everything, you know, not as great as the first one, basically, but it's still Deadpool. Deadpool is funny, you know, Deadpool is amazing, basically. There, next is Spider Man Far From Home. So, Spider Man Far From Home. I watched this one the most out of any Spider Man movie. It's not my favorite Spider Man movie. There's actually one more Spider Man movie on this list that's far higher. Then Far From Home, but Far From Home is basically pretty great. You have a pretty great spy villain, and of course, and of course, Mysterio. Really love him as a villain. He was a pretty great villain. You know, we have basically, you know, yeah. This some people don't like this movie because basically, you know, he goes through Europe. But basically, yeah, Mysterio is a pretty great villain in this movie. I really liked him in this movie. I didn't understand why I didn't make him a villain in the Sam and Mimi trilogy. You know, and I do remember, I do remember, you know, the video game Spider-Man making Mysterio into a joke. I thought that was pretty hilarious. Like, like it's always like the easiest bosses list. But we're not talking about the video games. Yeah, and also there's pretty good, fun, there's some pretty funny moments in this movie. There's a pretty good moments in this movie. The story one is pretty great as well. Next is Aquaman. So Aquaman is one spot higher. It used to be far higher, but I put it far lower. Not my favorite DC movie, but still pretty great. You know, I know some people may be angry at, oh, why is Aquaman on this list? But I really like this movie. They turned a movie about a superhero that wasn't really popular because nothing really of him was that great into such a great movie. You have a very great villain. Basically, you, you know, they actually turned a superhero that not a lot of people like and actually made a good movie about him. I think that's the first thing to comprehend. You know, you have Black Manta, pretty great villain. And you also have, it's hopefully, I know he's going to return the second movie too. And yep, Airplane, of course, Airplane has to be on the list. It's a comedy classic, you know, basically, you know, it's a, it's one of the great comedy movies. Not The sequel isn't as great, but it's still very funny. It's basically, yeah, Airplane is a comedy classic. Next is Independence Day. Independence Day, I actually forgot what was even on this list, but it's a pretty good film. You have some pretty good, yeah, it's... Pretty good, you know, basically it's about aliens and stuff. I like those types of movies. Aliens, sci-fi movies. There wasn't really, there, was, there wasn't really a very great sci-fi movies as there was action, mo- action films, but this is a pretty great action sci-fi movie. You know, basically you have like them fighting the aliens and stuff and at the, and the very end where they fight, where they, they finally destroy, destroy the alien ship at the end of the film. Very amazing, you know, it's a very amazing and satisfying film to watch, you know, as well. Next is Uncle Buck, another another comedy classic, basically. It's one of the more underrated movies. Everybody says, oh yeah, my favorite com- well, my, oh yeah, the greatest comedy of all time, you know, for example, the top tens. They put, like, for example, Uncle Buck's like at 324. Uncle Buck is just a comedy classic, kind of like The Great Outdoors, which I don't think The Great Outdoors is on this list, but... Next is Godzilla. Yes, God. Yes, this is this is the Godzilla movie I was talking about. Godzilla came to monsters. I don't care what people think. It's a masterpiece. Okay, it is basically the perfect Godzilla movie. Okay, the perfect Godzilla movie. Okay, everything about this movie was great. Some people say, "Oh, bad, the plot was lacking," but the movie is about Godzilla and not about the human characters. Okay, they were complaining that the plot wasn't enough about the humans. It was too much about Godzilla. They, you know, the critics, of course, you know, were complaining about this movie. They hated this movie so much. They tried to bury Godzilla. Don't know why they tried to bury Godzilla. Because this movie is basically an epic movie. You have the final fight scene between... The epic scene between Ghidorah and Godzilla. You know, basically like that. Another movie I have not seen in a while is Wonder Woman. This is a movie I have... Watched like in 2019 where I got a bunch of movies basically and this movie was very surprising It's not my favorite DC movie. I don't think it's my favorite DC movie Z, but it was basically a very great movie basically you have a very it's definitely way better than its sequel that came out but yep it got 93% on Rotten Tales Tales and yep Basically, she was on this island, and then she leaves the island, and basically, she has to stop uh, World War Two, World War One, and basically, this guy was causing World War One. Basically, he was fighting it, fighting alongside men to end a war, to end all wars, 
And yeah, basically you had to fight the whole powers and stuff. And also, yeah, the only problem with the movie is the end of the CGI. But the storyline is pretty great, so... The CGI story. Next is The Hunger Games, another movie I don't know why I still have on the list. Is, yeah, it's a pretty great film, but there's a lot of pretty... It's basically... Yeah, I haven't really... I've seen this movie like two or three times. Not my favorite in the world. It is... I don't think it's overrated. A lot of people say it's like, like, like the most overrated movies. The storyline and well building is good. Much better than the <laughs> Divergent. Okay. You know what? Much better world building. You know, there every citizen much by You know, basically it's about like, you know. Hey, I think everybody's seen this movie before. It's another. It is a classic series. So it's on this list. Next is Dragon Ball Z. Yes, I have Dragon Ball Z on this list. This is the, ba- this is the Battle of Gods. I like watching Dragon Ball Z, basically, you know, it's the, it's amazing, you know, you have the fight, a lot of good fight, you have the good fight scene, you have a, you have a, you have a new villain introduced, Beerus, he's basically like the god, one of the gods of the Dragon Ball universe, there, and next is Spirit, this is a, this is another underrated movie on this list, they actually are finally making a sequel to it this year, Spirit Untamed, but the but this movie is a pretty amazing film. The soundtrack is pretty amazing. The storyline is pretty amazing. I watched this like a lot of times when I was a kid. It was a pretty amazing movie, basically, you know. And yeah, basically, yeah, basically, the horse does not want to be tamed by any humans. He wants to be free, which is a you know there. And yeah, basically, it also shows that you know man doesn't really treat animals that way and stuff like that. It's so, and also, yeah, it's a pretty good film, you know, pretty, it's an extremely underrated animated film, probably the most underrated film out of all of DreamWorks' movies, there, you know, next is The Godfather Part 2, I don't know why The Godfather Part 2 is so well, but it's not as great as the first Godfather, God, The Godfather was pretty amazing, is a pretty much a, per, you know, new perfect film, but the sequel isn't that great as the first, and yeah, basically, it's a, uh, you know, the problem, the, it's basically a lot of, more of the more same of the first one, but the problem with the second one is, it, 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 it's, it's long, like, very long, okay, you know, the first movie didn't feel long, this one did, okay, this one did feel <laughs> long, okay, I was like, when is this movie gonna be over, that's, that's the big problem of Godfather Part 2, and that's why it's so far lower, in the first movie, then we have John Wick Free, of course. John Wick, you have all you have some of the best choreographed fight scenes in all of film. You have some of the most best fight scenes in all of movies. Basically, you know, there all the John Wick movies are basically correct. Like, I can't wait for four and five, they're making a fourth and fifth movie. You know, I can't wait for the Matrix 4. You know, there next is Gladiator. So, Gladiator, if they if you like history and Stuff, yeah, you like this movie. It's basically about like the gladiators, and you know, they're actually one best picture, which I was surprised it did. But it's a pretty amazing movie, you know, and film to watch. If you really like, it's actually, actually, I think it's like his. I haven't really seen any other movies of Russell Crowe that I liked, but this is his like best movie, and I do agree it's his best movie. And it's probably like, the only movie that he really got. I, I don't know if he got a uh, best actor for it. Then we have the Kill Bill movies. So the, I just put these movies right by each other because they're basically one. They should be one movie, but they split it into two movies for some reason. They sort of just made it a four-hour or free or free, a free or like a free-hour movie instead of just having two separate movies. Kill Bill ones were all the action scenes out, and part twos were all more more of the story scenes out. You know. It's actually one of the only Tarantino movies I actually like. Because I don't really like a lot of Tarantino's movies. You know. I watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I didn't really care for it. You know. Next is Sonic. Why is Sonic on the list? Because Sonic's amazing. Okay. You have Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. You have a lot of good funny scenes. And this. And of course. I just like Sonic in general. I'm a, I'm a fan of Sonic. It's like Godzilla. Of course, Sonic is going to be on this list. Okay, it's not, uh, yeah, it's not the best film in the world, but it's still pretty entertaining, and it's still 
a pretty amazing, it's probably one of my favorite video game films of all time. Next is Ice Age 3, of course, it has to be on this list. I love watching this movie. It's basically, it's like, to me, it's like one of the more perfect, it's probably the best movie Blue Sky, has, best film Blue Sky has ever made. I don't really think they have made a better film than the third Ice Age. Some people will argue that the first one, some people will say the first one, of course, the first one is better, but the third one has the best character in the Ice Age universe, Buck, and he's such an amazing and good new addition to Ice Age. You also have dinosaurs in this movie. You also have, of course, good humor like in all of the Ice Age movies. Even the fifth movie has some decent humor now and then. And then the next movie we have on the list is Five Feet Apart, so... I think this movie, yeah, this movie is, one reason why this movie is on because I did watch it during the COVID-19 pandemic. But basically, this movie was created to raise awareness for a ill, for a, basically an illness that people are born with called cystic fibrosis. It's a pretty amazing film. It's very sad, definitely sad and up, the most overrated sad movie of all time, you know, there. And next is Room. I'm actually surprised this, I, this movie was that good because... Brie Larson's in it. And I don't like Brie Larson because of Captain Marvel. Because Captain Marvel was such a horrible movie. I, I, didn't, I wasn't even watching it after I barely watched it. Because I was like, this is just... Captain Marvel was so boring. But this movie was much more better. It's... It, so basically, it's about these this woman and her son that are forced to be... Wa- that are basically stuck in this room. It's a said. I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. But you, if you watch the movie, you'll basically see, you'll basically see why it's on the list, though. And actually, for once, Brie Watson was actually a good actress. See, I actually do believe. I used to say, oh, why did Brie Watson win Best Actress? This, I was like, why does he win, what, why, what, why does he win an Oscar? And I actually said, I said, you know what, I'm actually going to watch the movie she won Best Actress for. And it actually was. I actually now believes he did deserve to win the Bass Actress. So yes, Brie Watson haters, I actually did put a Brie Watson movie on this list. List. Next is How to Train a Dragon, another classic. I don't know why the other films are not on this list, but this is another classic. Sick. Same thing with Star Wars Episode 3. It has become a cult classic among our generation. You have a, I, a lot of the older generation hates this movie. Do not know why. Again, the, the, that's the prequel hate in general. This is basically the best of the prequel movies. Basically the best. Episode 1 is pretty underrated. Episode 2 is just exists. And, you know, is this is just a pretty amazing film. You have that, You have a lot of good parts like, you know, Palpatine. You know, basically just Order 66. You have, you know, the like, last 40 minutes are just amazing. Next we have Shazam. I really just like watching this movie. As well, and I really like this as a film. I think this is basically these to just make more films like this and less films like Turds of Prey and Wonder Woman 1984 garbage. And it doesn't make more films like this. It's Sazam is pretty fun, it has a lot of pretty good scenes. You are it, it is one, it is one of those movies that I call perfect superhero film. You know, you have like the hero, he has to warn his superpowers and stuff, and that stuff like that. And you have a lot of you have good character development throughout the film, and I think I there is even a review that basically would say the same things I say here. It's called like Shazam. DC's gold. DC should win. What DC should really won from this film? Why did this film work, and why did you know Suicide Squad not work? Why did Batman v Superman not work? Why did okay not Zack Snyder's Justice League, but the original Justice League did not work. I've not seen Zack Snyder's Justice League yet because it's not out on Blu-ray. But how, why didn't Birds of Prey work? Why didn't Wonder Woman 1984 work? Why did Shazam work? Why did first Wonder Woman work but not the sequel? Why did Aquaman work? Okay, DC needs to <laughs> go over the thick head and realize that making woke garbage does not work like that. But again, you know, and making garbage, just peel garbage like Suicide Squad does not work. Next is where Indiana Jones, of course, is just a classic. It has to be on the list. You know, Harrison Ford is pretty great and all the... I, didn't, I don't really like the second movie that much. I like the third movie and the fourth movie was okay. 
And next is, of course, John Wick 2. Of course, what was John Wick 2? Well, here it is. John Wick 2 is my favorite of the John Wick movies. It has probably some of the best action scenes in probably film history. And it's just, it's just all of these movies. They're just amazing. John Wick is just amazing. I don't know why some people hate Keanu Reeves. And why, especially the top 10s. Which I think is probably even worse than Rotten Tomatoes. Okay? You know. There, and then, of course, we have Iron Man. The film that started it all with the MCU. So, Iron Man, of course, started off with the MCU. Very similar to Sam. It's, it's basically the perfect superhero film. The perfect superhero film. You know, basically, if you have not, if you have not seen Iron Man, I'm not going to... I I could spoil it for you, but I don't want to spoil it for you. You know, there's a reason why this movie made so much money. There's a reason why they took... This movie took a B-list superhero and, of course, a actor that a lot of people didn't really care for anymore because of what he did into now an A-list actor and an a t- and a basically a top-tier superhero. That's basically Iron Man. Next is Crazy Rich Asians. A lot, some people don't really like this movie that much. I don't know why. This movie had a, this film had a pretty good story and pretty good humor. I don't know why some people hated this movie. Maybe because of, maybe people were, maybe they were worried about Stop Asian Hate. Because it's not the best movie featuring Asian characters. Not, 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 not the best. Okay, they're, they're much better. But this movie is still pretty great. I've seen it like a lot of times, like four or five times. Lots of times to me is still four to five times. There are people who have seen movies hundreds of times. Next is, of course, The Dark Knight Rises. It's not as great as the, fir- the Dark Knight, but still a pretty amazing film. Bane was a pretty great villain as well. You had, of course, Bat- Kristen Bale and Batman. Pretty amazing. Then we had the third Planet of the Apes. Probably the saddest Planet of the Apes movie. It was very, 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 very depressing. Here. I don't know why Endgame is so low on here. Here, but yeah, it's a very depressing, sad movie. You know, not the, it is my least favorite of the Planet of the Apes movies, but it's still a mass. And you look at the score, it's still a 10 out of 10. Okay, it's still on the list. So, next is Dragon Ball Super Broly, probably the best Dragon Ball film ever made. You know, you had this new character, Broly, and they actually told a character that wasn't really that, that well liked because Broly didn't really have a personality. They actually gave him a personality, they actually gave him a character, and he was a pretty great character in the in the film. So next is Endgame. I find this movie a bit overrated. Did I kind of find this movie a bit long. That's my biggest criticism, just like the God, second Godfather. That's why it's so low on the list. It's because I do kind of find Endgame very, 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 very long. And yeah, there we go. Next is Terminator. Of course, the Terminator is just a classic. It's just a classic. It's the Terminator. Of course, the sequel is better, Terminator 2. But Terminator is just a classic. Okay. Well, here in Rhapsody, if you really love clean music and Freddie Mercury. And also, Rami Malek was a pretty amazing actor. As well, next is Star Wars Episode 6. Amazing. It's, Star- it's basically not a classic. Don't really have to explain it much. Next is 1917. I think this movie is going to be remembered as a classic war movie. It's the first movie, the first film that truly saw World War One and how World War One is. There wasn't, there wasn't, this movie wasn't really about, like, you know, them fighting in the war. But this movie basically is still pretty amazing. And this movie is shot in, like, one continuous shot as well. You know, it's pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing experience. I'm actually going to probably continue re-watching the movie. Because I've, I've seen this once and I'm going to probably finish watching it. Later tonight, you know, basically, though, because I have it on Blu ray, so I can just pause it and watch it later. Next is The Lion King. I know there are people who despise this movie online, and I know someone else who despises this movie because of the villain Scar, which is a stupid reason to hate the movie. It's not the best animated movie of all time. No, it isn't, okay? Not the best animated movie of all time, or best animated film of all time. But it's still a pretty amazing film. The storyline is pretty amazing. You know, you have good char- good and memorable characters. There were, you know, and of course, the remake sucks. We don't have to say that, talk about the remake. We don't even mention the remake. Next is Donald the Planet of the Apes. Uh, uh, this is the Planet of the Apes new trilogy is pretty underrated. Don't really like the original Planet of the Apes movies, but this is a much better. I think the, the this trilogy of Planet of the Apes, I think they should just keep it a trilogy. We don't need a fourth film. Okay. The third film basically was like the ending. Like, yeah, this is not, this is the end of the trilogy. I think this is probably, this is one of the be- better. This is like one of the best plant. Again, all these trilogies, this trilogy is perfect. You have, you have Cobra. 
at the conflict between Cobra and Caesar, pretty good. And then we have Rogan. Okay. Rogan was pretty amazing. I've seen it once. I probably, I am probably going to see it again since I have it on Blu-ray. But this was a pretty amazing movie. I'm not really a fan of X-Men. That's why you only saw the Deadpool movies on this list. But this film was so amazing. You have like, you know, especially the emotional ending. Well, you know, spoiler alert. Wolverine dies at the end of the movie. It's basically a sad, uh, sad ending to such a great character. I'm not really a big fan of the X-Men movies that much. I don't really care for them except for Deadpool. You know, and Rogan. You know, that's it. Bambi, of course, I watched this movie a lot of times when I was a kid. I like this movie because it's basically about deers and I like deers. And I like movies about animals. I don't know why I watched this so many times when I was a kid. This was When we went to Grandma's house, this was like a tradition movie to watch. I This is another very sad and emotional movie as well. Because, of course, if you do not know, Bambi's mother dies in the movie. But I think everybody knows that, like, Rogan dying in Rogan. I think everybody knows that. Next is 300. It's a, it's a classic. 300 is a classic, okay? It is basically, like, one of the best war movies of all time. You know, you have... It's basically an epic movie. It's a very simple movie, but it's a very epic movie, okay? You know... Sometimes a movie ha- doesn't have to be super complex. This movie doesn't have to be super complex to be amazing. 300 is one of those movies. The style of the movie, the plot of the movie, and basically everything about 300 is amazing, basically. Next is Blade Runner. This used to be much higher on the list, but I made it much lower. i seen it. It's pretty amazing. You have the good story. But the movie is a bit confusing. Its sequel is better. I like the style and of this movie. It's pretty amazing. Another movie I like for its style is Spider-Man and Spider-Verse. The plot is good. You know, it's an animated film. And my mom, I have, my parents don't like animated films anymore. Don't, because they're for kids. This is why I don't like boomers. Because they, they always say the same thing. But, you know, not boomers. My parents are Gen X, not boomers. But, you know, this movie... When I watched it, it was pretty. It was basically a very surprising movie film to watch. Basically, there it's a pretty good as both a movie and a film. You know, you have a very good story. You have pretty good stylistic action scenes, and you also basically it's like the, you know, people were talking about the next Spider-Man movie being a big crossover of all the Spider-Man movies. This movie did it first. Spider-Verse did it first. Next is Alien. Of course, Alien is on this list. It's a classic. Okay, it's a classic, you know, I don't really like horror movies. I do not like watching movie, horror movies, but this movie is an absolute classic. You know, the Xenomorphs are an iconic, you know, character. You have, of course, the storyline is pretty good. Well, Ripley's like the, at the end, Ripley's the only survivor because these aliens, this alien basically just kills everybody. And yeah, it's a pretty amazing film. Next is Fury. I like this. This movie, this film is amazing. Fury is amazing. It's about these guys. It's about World War Two. I think it's probably, you know, it's probably one of the best World War Two movies ever made. You know, yeah, it's about these guys in a tank. Basically, there they have to fight off against like German soldiers. It's pretty epic. Dust like three. It's just like three hundred. Just epic to watch. It's just an epic film to watch. And yeah, basically, it's like they're fi- making the final push into the, you know. European feeder, and basically they, they these guys take the take into a deadly mission behind enemy lines, and yeah, it's a pretty epic movie. Next is Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is another pretty amazing film. It's basically you know it's basically all the world building of the last two movies are built off this movie. You have the you have the you have the relationship between I forgot the guy's name between the Doctor guy and Caesar, basically how. How the plant, how the apes basically escaped. That's probably one of the best scenes of the film. You have all, you have just a lot of good parts of this movie. This is probably the best of the Plan of the Apes trilogy. I all three of these, all three of those movies are masterpieces. Next, we have Alpha. This is a extremely underrated film. So Alpha is basically about if you like dogs, you're gonna love this movie because basically. This film is basically a movie about like 10,000. This takes place like 10,000 years ago in the Ice Age. And this guy basically is left alone to survive in the wilderness. He's basically gonna die. He basically is left for dead. But basically he forms, he basically becomes friends with this wolf. 
It has some of the best cinematography ever in prior any film. Okay, this is an extremely underrated movie. Basically, if you do, if you love animals, if you love dogs, you will love this film. Film. I think this film almost was a box office failure too, because people just didn't want to see it, and this film quickly became a forgotten film. It basically became forgotten. It's definitely much better than the other Ice Age movie, Ten Thousand B.C. See, next is Civil War. Of course, Civil War. Civil War is going to be on this list. It's amazing. You have basically the big conflict between Iron Man and Captain America. There, you know, pretty, you know, you have the best, one of the best MCU acting scenes. You have a pretty great villain, even though he's not really strong or that. He basically manipulates the Winter Soldier into becoming bad. You basically have the very you have the very emotional final battle between Captain America and and Iron Man there, and also you have to introduce to several new characters. Yeah, it's basically a pretty amazing film. Next is Ready Player One. I don't know why this movie is so high in the list, but basically, if you really like games, if you like basically anything to do with video games, you'll probably love this movie. The I seen this like three or four times. If you really like video games, you'll definitely like this movie. There's tons of references. To other games, other movies, basically. And this movie is all about Easter eggs and stuff. Even say the, po- the whole point of the movie is to find it. The whole point of the movie is to find... Is to find... Is to find... The fortune of the first person to discover a digital Easter egg that's hidden in the game. Basically, it's also about, like, you know, it's also a cyberpunk film as well. And I really like that. I really like this movie. You know, all the references, all the characters, the battle fighting where you have to fight Mecha Godzilla and all these everything and like everybody unites against like the corporations. It also shows, you know, big tech is bad, which I like tap mess. This big tech does suck. But next is the Dark Knight, of course. You know the Dark Knight we're gonna talk you know I I'm, I'm not gonna say the same thing as everybody else says. Cause that's what you're, that's how I'm gonna say. So Joker performance is amazing. Not you know, you have Bat, you have the good storyline. You have basically Batman. He's pretty epic and cool in this movie. You know, there wasn't really anything else to talk about this movie. Next is Terminator 2, another absolute classic. This is just Terminator 2 is just amazing. It's just Terminator 2. You know, all we, all we have to say about this movie is just epic story, great characters, great Jaws as well. Jaws is a classic sock movie. If you don't have this movie, of course, is gonna be on this list. Stars is just a classic. It's a, it's one. Of, it's the best sock movie of all time. I think out of all the sock movies, you have the you have all these suspense, all this stuff. Okay, in Zars, I've seen it like lots of times when I was younger, on TV. It's just a classic sock movie. Same thing on this this movie, Finding Nemo. You know, pretty good, emotional. You know, yeah. Basically, it's about, you know, yeah, if you haven't that Finding Nemo is a classic. I don't really have to explain some of these movies higher up on this list. I think it is my favorite of all the Pixar movies. Sorry, Up fans. <laughs> up fans. Which, yeah, they do. With most of them, I'm going to put Up at number one. But, yeah, I, if you wait. And also, I like this movie because it's about fists and animals. I like lots of the, I like to watch Rocky when I was a kid. Younger, I liked watching lots of movies about animals and fists and, you know, that's why I really liked Ice Age. That's why I really liked, you know, Jurassic Park. You know, there. Next is Inception. Inception's another one of Nolan's Masterclass movies. It's pretty confusing, but still pretty amazing. You have act- good action scenes, good music, good cinematography. And, of course, you have the famous building scene. That's, like, the best movie. That's, a, that's one of my... Favorite parts, and also it's about like this guy who goes into like zines and stuff, there, and yeah, basically he wants to, yeah, it's basically he go he he has, he's a thief that enters people's dreams and steals their secrets or things of stuff to concerts, you know, and stuff like that. The ending is probably one of the most confusing endings for any film, and this is actually this is one of my favorite more longer movies outside of the War of the Wings. So next is Joker. Phoenix's performance is amazing. It's Amazing, okay. You also have this story like you know, the Ritz is bad, boo the Ritz, you know, that's put you know, that's probably why the critics hated Joker. But yeah, Joker is a pretty amazing film as well. Next is The Matrix, yep, Matrix is another classic movie. 
It's sequels, they don't, don't really age as well as the first movie. I actually didn't really like The Matrix because the first time I watched it, I was like, why does everybody like this so much? It's not that great. But you have already, you know, I watched it again and I watched it again and then I watched it like a fourth time. I think I watched it like four times now. It's just such an amazing film. You have, you know, Leo and stuff. You have, of course, the the world building. This movie is basically most, mostly about the world building. But you also have some pretty good action scenes in this film as well. And he, and also, yeah, it's basically like the introductory world. I think if the if the other two films were much better than the first, much better than what they are, than what they are now, I think the Matrix would have been a perfect trilogy. It's like the Planet of the Apes trilogy and the Dark Knight trilogy. Next is Guy of the Galaxy. Don't really have to explain this one. This is another absolute classic movie and film. You know, it is one of the better MCU movies out there. One of the best MCU movies out there. You know, out there. It, it is one of those movies that you think, oh, it's yeah, everyone's like, yeah, this might not work. Guys, okay. It's, but it's just amazing. You know, you get to introduce the cosmic side of the Marvel Universe. You have lots of good humor, storyline, everything. And of course, sound a good soundtrack of a lot of MC movies. Next is Back to the Future. I I seen this a couple times when I was a kid. It was pretty amazing. I liked the time. I liked how there's a lot. I liked the time travel stuff. How they had to go back in time to basically fix stuff and stuff. And this, you know, they basically have to go to the past and stuff. It was pretty amazing and stuff. There, and you have you have the and also it's just the you know you have the scientist. He's a pretty likable character. Its sequels are not as great, but this movie is still another classic movie. Same thing with Rocky. Rocky is just another classic. Its sequels, are, except for five, are all pretty amazing. So, yeah, it's Rocky. Now, next is Parasite. Parasite was a film that won Best Picture. I watched this. It was a pretty amazing, shocking film. I'm not going to spoil the movie. I actually have a review on it. If you really want to know more about the movie, first of all, watch the movie instead. It is on Blu-ray, so you can buy it on Blu-ray. This movie was a massive success in South Korea as well. And it has been best movie of the year, and it is one of the few times where it won best movie of the year. I think I skipped the movie. Yeah, I did. I skipped Dances with Wolves. I'll explain Dances with Wolves. Dances with Wolves is a, you know, basically about, like, the Indians and stuff, Native Americans. You know, basically, he this guy, he goes to, you know... Watch, watch over this tribe, and then he eventually becomes a part of the, the, this tribe, and he basically realizes that hey, these Native Americans, they're, they're not savages. They just they just have their own culture, they have their own people, they're their own people, their own culture, their own groups. I've seen, you know, I might in the future, I definitely in the future will probably go sit down and watch this movie, this film again, you know, Dale. But I have a lot of movies I'm probably have to rewatch again. Dale. Next is of course Dunkirk. Another pretty amazing World War II film. I think this movie... I, th- I don't know why I still have it so high on this list. This, but Dunkirk is still pretty amazing. Another Nolan masterpiece again. Another pretty great World War II film as well. Next is Deadpool. It's fucking Deadpool. Okay? It's fucking Deadpool. Okay? It also is one of the best superhero origins in history. Okay? One of the best superhero origin movies. But no, probably the best superhero origin movie in history. And of course, we have Star Wars Episode Four. It's a it's Star Wars, okay? I know there are people who hate Star Wars online. There are actually people who do hate Star Wars, okay? But I do not hate Star Wars. I love I love watching this movie. This is actually the Star Wars movie I've seen the most amount of times. I also watched it lots of times when I was a kid on TV. V as well. So if it actually was the original trilogy I watched a while on TV and the sequel trilogy. Yeah, the, not the sequel trilogy, the prequels, okay? Now the sequel trilogy is on this list, thank God. But next is the Avengers. It's the Avengers, okay? The Avengers, you know, it was basically one of the most epic. You know, you have the Avengers teaming up to fight, fight the bat, you know, defeat Loki, who wanted to basically destroy New York. Yeah, if you haven't seen the Avengers, what are you doing? You, you need to see this. I know there are Marvel haters out there who are not going to be convinced and say it's overrated, but the Avengers is the Avengers. You know, there's, there isn't really anything else to say about it. Next is Hacksaw Ridge. This is probably my favorite World War II movie. I don't think there's any other World War II movies on here. I've seen it. It's pretty amazing. There is, it, it's about this guy who basically, instead of fighting, he basically wants to save lives. And he basically goes around and saves people's lives in the battle in these battles in Japan. 
And it's a pretty amazing film. Film basically here. And yeah, it's a pretty amazing film. It's a pretty underrated film as well. Well, it was nominated for like Best Picture and stuff. And yeah, next is episode Star Wars episode five. It's again it's Star Wars. There wasn't really anything there is there wasn't really anything there is, it doesn't really need an introduction. You don't really need to explain Star Wars to people. Same thing with Jurassic Park. You don't really need to explain people what Jurassic Park is. Jurassic Park is just a masterpiece. Okay? You love dinosaurs, you love this movie. This film. End of story. Okay. You love dinosaurs, you love Jurassic Park. End of story. And let's see what the, the, that one person on why that says Jurassic Park is overrated. Don't watch it on, you know, Metacritic. Next is The Godfather. It basically is one of those perfect films. Basically, The Godfather. You know, pretty good story, acting, characters, and everything. You know, there's a reason why everybody says this is one of the greatest films of all time. Next, we have, of course, the War of the Rings trilogy. I decided to put all of them. From five to three, because the War of the Rings is just a masterpiece. It's this epic journey. It's an epic journey, basically. And of course, I think everybody has always seen War of the Rings anyway. So it doesn't. We don't really need to explain this film. Same thing of Infinity War. Infinity War, I think, is just perfect. Okay, I think it's definitely in terms of a film, it's much better than Endgame. Well, Endgame, they try to you know drag things out and stuff. But in Fiddy War, you basically have, they have to stop Fowl from collecting, yeah, I think everybody has seen this movie already. And of course, we have number one, Arita. Is that number one? What? It isn't. And yeah, there's a lot of films that I've not seen yet. There, and I bet in this year, I'm probably, I might see a film that might be number one. But Arita is, to me, it's just perfect. Don't really have to explain, I've already explained why I like this movie like 20 times already. The story Especially the more probably one of the most underrated soundtracks in the film. They actually have they actually have a original soundtrack and not a line on like the Marvel movies. They don't, they have an original soundtrack and they not rely on pop song no pop no pop culture songs like you know Sonic the Hedgehog and Sazam do. Okay. The soundtrack is pretty amazing. The villains, you know, like Japan, you know, Gruiska, Nova. I really hope whoever is making the leader, okay. It doesn't matter. Actually, it doesn't really matter who now. Paramount, Disney. I you know, don't really want Disney to make it. Because we all know Disney's going to ruin it with their garbage propaganda. But, you know... You know, hopefully they get... They definitely give this movie a sequel. Because why do they not have a sequel to this movie already? Or at least announced a sequel. Okay. Yeah. And of course, there are some movies that missed out on the list. For example, Edge of Tomorrow... That well, that almost made this list. Edge of Tomorrow is a film that almost made this list. As well as a cut, the Saving Private Ryan almost made this list as well. I don't really like Saving Private Ryan that much because it's very long. Okay, I like Dunkirk and Hacksaw Ridge because they are long. I don't really like long movies that much unless it's War of the Rings. Because War of the Rings is supposed to be long because it's epic. And unlike <laughs> War of the Rings and like all the other movies, it's long because it's supposed to be like epic. Same thing with you know, the Godfather. God, the first Godfather didn't feel wrong to me, like the second one. Okay. Second one. So, yep, there we go. Oh, I can skip to explain it. Yeah, the only, the only thing, I don't really, I don't, there's, really, there's really nothing I don't, I don't dislike. There's also the amazing action scenes and, and Arita's probably like one of the most, like, probably the most likable protagonist in any film ever. You know, I think the only other character to come close to some of the MCU characters Caesar from Planet of the Apes, as well. Rocky from the Rocky films, as well. And of course, Luke Skywalker from, of course, Star Wars. And yet, that's basically it. And now we're doing best movies very soon. Probably a week after this one. Goodbye.